Celebrating four years of talk like you've never heard it before, this is GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network. something here first before I put you on because I have to uh, bring up the uh, your camera and I, I I you know I didn't check any of this out but I, I my problem is I go away for like a week and it's all of like how, what what I think Wait it's a minute. more like two hours hold on a second I go away for like a week and uh, a week and a half and nothing works right I forget completely how to make this stuff work. Well, you are reaching that age. What? Am I on here? Yes, you are. Look, look at this way. Look this way. Look at me. Turn sideways a little I'm bit. Well, put my well, leg no. up somewhere. Well, your hair is really curly tonight. Well, it's it's going to rain. Is that what happens? That's the uh, <laughs> that's, that's the pre-rain hairstyle. That's the pre-rain hairstyle. Well, anyway, let me go to the split screen here so everybody can see us together. Um, yeah, there we go. How's that? It, huh? is, for, huh? is, it is. It is? Yeah, my hair. It is? Okay, yeah. Anyway, uh, so uh, uh, that is my lovely and adorable wife. See, I, I, I didn't, I just didn't know how to get everything going here. And then all of a sudden. Wife I, number four. I, oh, I tried to play the music and my jukebox didn't work. So I had to reboot it. To make it go again. Well, that's because you've been away for a couple hours. N a couple of weeks. But hours. No, but l well, the last time I used it, it worked. With you, it's a couple hours. What's well, a couple hours? That you forget everything. Uh, no, I. it's not that I forget everything. What I'm saying is, is the damn jukebox, the thing that does stuff like... Uh, Celebrating four years. That. Well, it wasn't working. I clicked on something like that and it didn't go. So that was the problem that I was having. Hi. You don't care, do you? I'm listening. Huh? No, you're 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 making faces at the audience. Oh boy, am I glad you're back. <laughs> I fill up the gap and what? Twenty minutes. Uh, twenty minutes left. Yeah, before yeah. <laughs> oh, geez, are you gonna count every bloody minute of it. Anyway. <laughs> So uh, no, so so I got I, my problem is my problem my basic problem is is that uh, you uh, forgot uh, yeah I forget a lot of stuff it's strange what, what how, happens you know and so uh, we haven't done this and we haven't done this in well, maybe four weeks something like more, that more than that more than that because the so, accident so was I in I forgot to check to see even if that camera works you know. But apparently it does. Move a little bit this way so you're more in the center of the picture. There and should I move this, turn this around a little? Yeah, if you want to. Do anything you want to. I don't care. I know you no, don't. You, no, but you see, it's not moving. Well, it's... Because you're not, you're not moving the wire in back of it. Anyway. Anyway, it's fine. So I, you know, we haven't done this for about four weeks, five no, weeks. It's, the the so, accident so was I, on the twenty sixth yeah. of November. Yeah. So I didn't even check the uh, the camera to see that it worked, you know. And then I didn't check to see if the split screen would work. And then all that stuff. Hold on a second. All the oh. turn the sound <coughs> off. No one <coughs> wants to hear it. <coughs> yeah. Yeah. <coughs> anyway. Uh, I'll be sneezing less once the cat leaves. Uh, turn that off. Oh, really? You're saying turn off the fan? Yeah, you made me turn it off. It's the bottom one. I know, I turned it off. No, you didn't. I... It's the bottom. Oh, boy. It's... You went to the top. I went to the bottom. You went to the top. I, I saw I, you do I, it. No, I did this one right there. Okay. Okay. Is it stopping? It's not that black What thing. is it? What is it? Dirt. No, it's not dirt. It's obviously it's something that's not going away. But what's fading? It's fading. Yeah. Maybe I, maybe I stuck myself with a uh, 
hot pin. A pin or something. Is that what he did? He put it yeah. in the ear? She put it in the ear? No, no, no. Anyway, that's something we're watching. It's over. Anyway, what was I saying? I have no idea. Oh, so uh, I and so anyway, and then all the stuff, all the stuff that I normally use with you is all down on the bottom, and I kind of have to move it up to the top. So Bring I, me up to the top. I deserve that. Anyway, it's working now. Good. And then when I started to try the show, the jukebox wasn't working, so I turned that, and then I got things wrong, and uh, just I had to start the whole show over again. It's uh, it's. What uh, can I say? What can you say? All right. What can He's you at say? that age. Huh? He's at that age. He's at, I'm at that age. Yes. Uh, what age is that? We're, you know. Huh? huh? You know. What's this? What? What do you? Ask? It's just sitting there. Huh? I didn't touch anything, but what is this? Uh, what is it? Yeah, I mean, I know it's a cord, but what's it for? For this? I guess, you know, I would imagine. Okay. Hold on a Open second. I have, I have to turn something, uh, delete something here. There we go. Now that's working. Okay. Are we recording? Yeah, I think we are. Yeah, we're okay. All right. 19 minutes. Huh? <laughs> What's with that 19 minutes? I'm just minutes? saying, I huh? got my, my foot, it's weird. I need it to okay. elevate it. Okay, well, no, explain, let's explain what happened to you. Four people, tourists, at 53rd and 5th, were looking up. And this is what day? This when? is on the 26th of November. The 26th of November, right. okay. And um, one of them backed up or put his foot out, tripped me, and I fell in the street and broke my knee. On the 30th of November, you I You notice how that ding went off right as you were saying, and I broke my knee? Right. Ding! <laughs> and the 30th of November, I had surgery. And yeah. now I've been in this brace huh? since the yeah. 30th. Yeah. I'm still in it. You had to go, in, they had, she had to go in the hospital and have an operation. Right. They put pins and bolts and wire. They, they literally put screws in your... And wire. Didn't and you wire. see the picture of the wire? No, I didn't see that. It's kind of like a wiggly thing. Oh, really? I now see. then, I have to, when, the, when the brace comes off, I have to go into... Um, physical therapy. Physical therapy and learn how to bend my knee. Because the muscles atrophy in that. Time. Well, no, it isn't that. It's also the the work and everything else that's been done. It has. You can put your leg in a brace for six weeks after it's through. But your muscles atrophy, so you have to learn because it's they're not as strong as let's say my right leg. They're not as strong as. So your... you have to learn from scratch. Really? Oh, okay. Well, anyway, you'll have to learn how to walk again. And uh, but the, the fact is, she can walk without a cane now. Without the crutch, yeah. Without the crutch, yeah. But it's uh, it's you know. painful. Is it still painful? Once in a while, like today was very painful. Mm -hmm. What do you mean very? What number? What number? Four or five. Okay, because you were you kept. I was saying, a nine ten. You were nine ten. Yeah. Well, it the was, night that you came home from getting the operation, my leg was all swollen. You were in extreme pain, and you were taking me the pain medicines. I got to turn the fan on. I got to go get a shirt then. Why? Because I'm cold. Well, here, try this. Yeah, it's me. dirty. Oh, Jesus. You know, this is what okay, I have, I'll, I'll put it this on. This is what I have to put up with. So anyway, so she, uh, she's she been getting on the mend slowly but slowly surely. Slowly but surely. And uh, you, you're feeling better, aren't Yeah, you? but now I have to catch up on almost a month of work yeah. that I'm behind in the office. Well, you didn't. You were out from the office for more than about a week. Oh, more than that. Well, there was the week that you had the accident, right? But then, of of recovery at home, you spent a week here, and then the next week you went in. I did. Yeah, yeah. You went in for a couple of days. A couple of hours. And then you were lucky because then all of a sudden the Christmas holiday hit. Right. And right. Uh, you were yeah. Uh, but and my company's paying for me to take car service to and from. Yeah. Because I can't take steps. I can't do a bus. Yeah. I can't do the subway. Yeah. So on a scale of 1 to 10, how was I as a nurse? You were great. You took that nice pill that made you a nice the person. The Gabapentin. Yeah. Yeah. I wish I had that up in Vermont, but that's another story. I was taking another pill for the same thing. That made that you nasty. That made, made me nasty. Yeah. One pill makes you nasty and one pill, pill makes, makes you, you nice. nice. <laughs> <laughs> um. So I, uh, I was a. You were great. I, you were I, great. You came through. 
I came through. Okay. I mean, it's not like no. when I had my spine operation. Uh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. You made me. Here we take, go. Here we go. You made me take no, a taxi no, no. Shut up. from the hospital. Shut up. Shut up. Because you Shut didn't up. want to take out and come all the way up the east Shut side. Up. It's true. I, where, where, where you went downtown, right? To your place at downtown. My place downtown. And uh, I said, can you get yourself into a car? And then I met you downstairs. Yeah, I was in a wheelchair. They don't let you go until you're picked right. up. Right, and they got you into the cab, so that's all that mattered. If I was there, I don't, I would have just done the same thing, put you in a cab. So then you got in the cab, and you drove. Well, he, here's what happens, okay? This happened how many years ago? I had the surgery in mm -hmm. 9 or 10, 2009, 2010. Ten. Okay, so we're talking about eight years, nine years. Okay. Okay? Yeah. All right. She has never forgotten this, and in spite of the fact <laughs> hey. that no matter how nice I was this time and how much I was there for her and how come every time she left the hospital, I was there to meet her and take her back home. Except... Let me accept. Except when I had my spine surgery. But don't I? Don't we erase that? Or why do you hold that as some kind of female collateral? Yes, we we hold everything. Really? Yeah, we never forget. No, you, you <laughs> use it. Well, remember the time when I did. You know, I that used to happen with uh, who did that happen with? Well, Ronnie was pretty good at that. She she could store that stuff up. Yeah. I think most women can. Yeah, they're good at it. You're really good at that. Guys yeah. don't remember these things. Well, that's right. I don't remember every time you treated me in a shitty way. Oh, let's oh, not go there. Oh, because you never treated me in a shitty way. Oh. Because you're so perfect. For you, I am. So anyway, I she she got you got better. You know, I'm getting what can better. I say? Huh? I'm getting better. You're getting better. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I can walk without the without the crutch mm -hmm. you know yeah so she's on the men I'm on the men well, but the doctor said nine months till I'm 100% yeah <laughs> it's like yeah. next summer now to show you how absolutely vapid our life is uh, we've been cat sitting oh it's, it's a highlight of our of our marriage <laughs> we, ne we never had any children together, but we're treating her like she's a baby. And she is so spoiled. As Natalia says, I gave you a kitten and you gave me back a diva. Well, she's getting more of a diva she now. She is really more of a diva. Now, and she happens to be, and Natalia happens to be a vegetarian. Well, only for the last year. And she kind of forces Jack to be a vegetarian. Uh, except when they go out. Except when they go out, then he gets to eat steak? Yeah, or sushi or whatever he wants. Yeah. So the cat the other day is begging. Oh, I wouldn't mention this. Natalia, don't listen to this. Well, she doesn't listen to the show. Well, that's true. But the cat was begging. Now, I know this cat always wants to smell any food you're eating, and then she goes, okay, I smelled the food, I'm happy. Okay? You dealt it, I smelled it. This cat, in the past, at least, when we was... Uh, was uh, when when did we was it when we had turkey or something and the cat just didn't even pay attention chicken. to it? It was probably chicken. chicken yeah. Didn't he? And I never knew. A, Walked away. Never knew a cat in my life who didn't want chicken. I mean, if I got some frozen chicken and I put it on the uh, on the sink uh, to let it defrost, the cats would sit there waiting for it to <laughs> melt. Okay, that's how crazy cats get over chicken. Not this one. Not this one. Until. Until. <laughs> the other day. I wouldn't <laughs> discuss it over the... Well, I was eating some chicken, and I said, you don't like this, look. And I threw it down on the ground thinking she wouldn't. She quaffed it down. <laughs> anyway, we love her. And we have taken so many pictures of her. I mean, she's crowded out everything else on my... Telephone. Right, on your iPhone. Yeah, yeah, I must have 20, 30 pictures oh, of Oh, me taken, too. Uh, uh, but uh, here are a few things that the cat does that is extremely precocious. Uh, she's a guest in our house, right. right? Do you know what her favorite room is to sleep in? The guest, guest room. room. <laughs> <laughs> and she loves the comforter, especially when it's folded because she can sink right in. Yeah, yeah. But she she's in there right now. Yeah. She, you know. Unless she then wants to come in, then she'll do what she did the other night with me when I was in the bathroom. 
she will bang on the door. And you said she was batting with my with my teddy bear. Oh, what happened was she started going like she started getting a crazy kitty fit. Yeah. And she was on the uh, comforter, and then she jumped straight up. She does that on the scratch right? board. And then she kind of looked at stuff, and then my feet were there, and she went over to my feet, and she started batting away at my feet with her paw. She smelled them. No. <laughs> it had nothing to do with it. She started batting my feet with her paw. and then Nine she, minutes. Then, then she went I'm over. I'm just saying. They went over to your stuff. She went over to your stuffed animals and started beating up on them. On the, on the teddy bears. Bat. Bat, not bat. on the raggedy ends. <laughs> huh? Not on the raggedy ends. No, one of the uh, teddy bears. The teddy bears. Yeah, it was like a, it was like a foot or something of something. It was white. And she just hit it. We have a scratch board that Natalia gave us, and she goes on there and scratches, and I'm watching, and she scratches, and then she jumps straight up, comes down, scratches again. Well, you know what's in the end of that thing? Uh, the catnip. Catnip. Yeah. So what she's doing is she's reacting to the catnip. I blew crazy. some grass in her face the other day. No. <laughs> No, don't do that. I did. No wonder the cat's been sleeping for three days now. <laughs> also, the cat has become very loving of us, finally. Yeah, she she hid all the time. The other time she was here, she would always find She's a place been to more hide. than one she time. She would never come up on the bed. Right. You know, and whenever she was going to sleep, she would sleep under the bed. Under the bed. Be near us, but yeah. under the bed. So we never realized how much she sleeps until she started sleeping on top, on of, top the bed. of the bed. And this cat... You know, it's like, we looked it up. We asked, uh, well, uh, here, I'll, I'll ask Echo. <laughs> Echo, how many hours a day does a cat sleep? Adult cats typically sleep between 13 hours and 14 hours every day. Kittens sleep more on average, around 18 hours every day. Kittens? Kittens. Wow. Well, they're like babies. They, you know, they're they're young. But fourteen. To, the last time I asked her, it was, it she was said, fourteen to sixteen. She said fourteen to sixteen. Wait a minute. Let me no, ask no, her no, again. No, no. Echo, how many hours a day does a cat sleep? Adult cats typically sleep between thirteen hours and fourteen hours every day. She's going down. Is she changed. Yeah. Didn't she? Around eighteen hours every day. Echo, why do you keep changing the amount of time that a cat sleeps? Echo, shut the fuck up. Yeah, you're confusing. I'd rather not answer that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Seven minutes. Hmm? Should I come over? Because hmm. coming over is part of the seven no, minutes. No, it's not. Yes, it is. <laughs> it doesn't start seven minutes. I, I, I owed my finger. Uh, I, I don't know what I did. I hit it or something. Or probably or when you were banging the... the Cable. Well, I was I put in cable last. I re re put in my Ethernet cable into the guest room because the other one just was, went bad for some reason, and I got a new one. Now I'm getting great speeds in there. How about in the bedroom? The bedroom's slower. Yeah. Huh. Yeah. Um, you know, I could relay the wire again. No, but it's fine. I don't want to take the chance. Of no, really it's fine. It but, so, anyway. Um, uh, so I have a I, the trouble is with these pills. I don't know. I maybe I should just stop taking them. I just but then you're they, grumpy. They, they I don't care. They make me loopy. But I, you were so I, you know, nice when I when I broke my knee. Because here I have to do simple tasks: A, do B, do C, do D. Well, I told you you should have a checklist. No, but check. What do you do? I got to do this, and I got to A, go, B, no, C. Because no, you're go, forgetting I've the I've got to go boom, 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 boom. Well, you, since you're forgetting, and maybe I just write it down. I can't look at a list while I'm doing So you that. have it taped. No. Oh, boy. You don't understand. You don't understand the first thing about doing something like this. No. I've had other challenges. Like what? Painting. Painting? Yeah. Oh. It's not easy. But, but if I said to you, uh, you know, you go to me, well, I forgot exactly how to paint. I go, well, why don't you make a list? <laughs> you would tell me to go fuck myself, wouldn't you? Go fuck yourself. Yeah, go fuck myself. Right. So, anyway. So what have, I, what have I not mentioned all day? I'm not even going to mention it. <laughs> <laughs> Phil, call in and help me out on this one. What? Why? Because I'm just saying. I'm all panicked. I mean, you're always in a panic. About this test. Well, it's going to be the last time you take it. So look at it that way. Why? Because I'm going to die after that? No, but you, at your age, you don't have to take well, it I, anymore. Well, I'm, I'm going to tell them I'm not going to take it. Well, that's it. Yeah, unless it's it's bad, and then we got to take it again in order to find out if it got worse. 
You know? And then we have to get you a bag. <laughs> well. It <laughs> <A> depends. <laughs> Extra large. Yeah, you're looking for the day when you can really go to Costco and yell that out, and, and I will have to yell back, yeah, I think I'm coming close. Let's get a box. <laughs> but who needed them before I did? That's when I was sick the whole month of December last year. Yeah, you peed your pants. How well, was that being sick? You made me laugh, and it, things happen. And so you started wearing... Only during that time when I was sick. These female ones with the flowers on them? I didn't see flowers. Really? Yeah. Yeah, but but you were like leaking like crazy. Because you made me laugh, and when I laugh, you know, no, I was sick. No, no, but you were just peeing for the sake of peeing. Of course. Yeah. Okay, four minutes. I'm coming that, over. That's not like just stay there, or or, or I'll tell them when you sharted. <laughs> so just to stay there. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> well, get it ready because it's uh, four minutes. You know, it's it's rough enough when you're a young man. And you live with a woman, and they have things that ha they do, okay? That they, you know, maybe they fart or they do something, and you have to live with that, right? They have to live with your farts too. When you get to be our age, that's all magnified. <laughs> of course. You know, it's just like the farts smell worse. Everything. And, and the peeing in the pants is not just because you <laughs> laughed once in a while and it <laughs> accidentally happened. It's because it's now a constant condition. <laughs> well, I don't have that yet. Anyway, it's three minutes. Why couldn't I have married you when you were young? Well, I what wish, did I get? I got a message. I wouldn't have liked you. Phil Meyer says, uh, wait a minute, hold on a second. It came up on my watch. So put your glasses on. Yeah. Obviously. What'd you say, Philip? The Phil said... Marjorie, I can't call Skype line is not open. I see. See, the Skype line is not open. All right. Uh, um, uh, Good, I'm rolling wait, over. Wait a minute, hold on a second. I'm, no. Wait a minute, I gotta turn on the Skype also line. Also turn it on. And, well, well and, turn it on and turn on and the Skype put us, line. Put us in a single frame. Boy, uh, let me see here. Okay, so I'll do that. All right, okay. Well, this version will be this good. Huh? Well, that that's been up there for Okay. She, you know, she's uh, talking about uh, she's talking about that. This ver <laughs> oh, this version of Skype will be discontinued soon. It was discontinued a long time ago. So anyway. Okay. Are, are you just going to sit over there? You're going to no, come over I'm here. Over, but you have to okay, me. Phil, you can call now. Yeah. Wait, wait. Don't move I'll my move ball it. away. I'll move it. Oh, you know what? You, you have a hard time sitting next to me because... It's my leg. Yeah, it's your leg. Just move the chair back. You can move back a little bit. Okay. There we go. And then move over, I guess. Yeah? I, I, uh, uh, oh, Jeff Stein is the first one to call hey, in. Jeff, how you doing? Hey. Happy New Year. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, there she is. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on a second. Let me, wait a minute. Let me, let me put them. Let me, let me put them on screen here. Here we go. Wait a minute. Come on. There we go. Okay. All right. There, there, there. Yeah. Hi. I have a brace I, to show you. Oh, how you doing, girl? <laughs> you're so you're amazing. I can't believe you're working with all this craziness. I oh. so much time, and usually in December. Wish they can't hear you that way. I look well, because you have it all facing you like normal. Okay. Here, here we go. There we go. Because in December, I usually use some of that time to get ready for the next year. I didn't have any of that, so I've fallen behind work-wise. Yeah, yeah. They got to cut you some slack, right? Oh, they they have. have to. I take a car yeah. service to and from. That's good. They're yeah. paying for it. I can't take steps. No. Mm. I can't Ugh, bend can't my that. knee. Really? <laughs> I've had a couple of steps. Oh, yeah. yeah. I want to come see you. I thought I, there's one time right after surgery, I thought I was coming into the city and then my plans changed. Uh, my mom's in the hospital too, so I was like, oh, crazy time. But, but it, that was after you did. When we canceled, I felt so bad, but it was really. Pete's <laughs> <laughs> sick. That, you, I got like the when years. I saw that picture. Yeah. I was like, okay, okay. You didn't have to show me that. I'm okay. I, <laughs> I, I didn't it. suspect it. anything. I was all happy. So. Well, it was a pretty good exp experience. Actually, she, she looks very healthy tonight because her hair is so uh because it's gonna rain tomorrow and it's frizzy her hair is so fluffy let me see here there's charlie here, wallace is calling here. and phil is calling is that there, phil? There. there he is oh they're all piling in yeah they're all piling in <laughs> yeah you said i had four minutes i went and put some hot water in the microwave and uh to make some tea i come back 
and Jeff's beat me to it. <laughs> I just want to say hi to Marjorie. That's all. No, yes. Sorry, stay there. Phil. It's good to see you. Uh, no problem. Because yeah. it's past my no. bedtime. Yeah. yeah. Oh, me too. But I just you, want to you, say you, hi to Marjorie. I'm going to let the guys do their thing. Okay. Good night. Uh, happy happy New touch. Year, guys. Good night. Happy, year. happy, okay. you, happy New Year. Take care of yourself, Marjorie. I'm trying. Hi, Marjorie. Hi. How you doing? Remember Charlie? Yeah, Charlie got a haircut. I sure did. Yeah. Oh. Nice. Whole bunch of them. <laughs> Whole bunch of them since we talked to him last. Yeah. 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 I like it. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. So everybody's looking good. Yeah. You're looking no worse for the wear. <laughs> no. no. Actually, she's I looking good. I love your hair. Yeah. Well, <laughs> it's going to rain tomorrow. So it's it mm -hmm. went uh, it went frizzy it goes uh, for frizzy. her. Wait a minute, let me get out of uh, the let me get out of Rob Alfano's face here. Hi, uh, Rob. Here hey, how go. are you, Marjorie? There we go. Healing slowly. Good to hear. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But uh, happy it, New Year. Happy New Year to you. And Thank she you. she's got a uh, a stiff leg. You know, she's got this brace it goes from here all the way from my thigh all the way down to my ankle a week from monday yeah. it comes off well we hope what do you mean you hope we hope that he lets me take it off well he said that's six weeks in the in this brace and then that's it you well, know we'll, we'll see and then you don't get my pity any longer and then i have to learn how to bend my knee then i go back on the nasty pills <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> uh, I don't know if retraining muscles the way they're retraining the muscles in my body uh, would work for you, but I've been going to a rolfer. And, oh, I went to uh, rolfing years ago. I, I feel so, so much better. I found oh, it very, very painful. painful. But that has and, nothing. Uh, it's uh, not well, the same. No, because it retrains the muscles. What they do is they, uh, uh, you know, they move the muscle. Uh, and they retrain it, and they do yeah, what this is she's trying thing. to do with physical reason, therapy. No, but you don't understand the reason why her leg will have to, she'll have to do exercise and stuff, is because basically, with the with the operation and everything, it's very stiff, and she yeah. has to then exercise to get it moving. and learn how to bend it again. It's not the it's muscles not atrophy. That, it, well, I don't think it's that the muscles. No, they said that. Who yeah. said that? The doctor. The doctor didn't yeah. say that. I was there. Oh. He said that it, you'll need physical training because your leg will be very stiff. I anybody who's ever had a knee problem, and I don't know if anybody here has had them, but has has said that when they went through this for like six weeks afterwards, your leg has a hard time bending. I, I think yeah, it of. does because the muscles are tight. Well, they atrophy too. Well, yeah. who, who died and made you a fucking doc? Look, uh, <laughs> the deal is: Have you ever had known anyone that's broken their arm? Yes, me. And it's, been, and it's been in a cast for, I don't know how long, six weeks, eight uh, weeks. A long yeah. time. Well, their muscles atrophy. When it comes out of the cast, one arm is skinnier than the other arm. That's true. Uh, Can I put a cast on my body? Uh, yeah, <laughs> that's not a <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, body I, cast. I, I, I just need, what are those things, those chastity belts? I need one around my, uh, uh, mouth. Around my mouth so I don't eat. Yeah. Uh, you know, oh, maybe so you don't talk. Uh, <laughs> no, nah, they got holes in them. Yeah. Uh, no, but I, uh, 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 it isn't so much the atrophying. It is. It, it, I mean, yes, you're going to need to re you know, get the muscles going again, but it's because the bending is difficult because you have some hardware in there now. And you haven't bent it in, in right. two months. Well. And then uh, I started, you know, how oh, hello, the by the way, hello to painful. Jason. Hi, Jason. Hey, Jason. Mm -hmm. uh, I so got I... this foam roller uh, that has nubs on it. I have one and, of those. And when I started using that, yeah. the rolfing was nowhere near as painful as uh, as it was prior to the use of that. I use that on the floor. I do my back, my neck with it. It's great. Yeah. Yeah, it is. Uh, it took me a while to get around to it because it hurt in the yeah. beginning. Yeah. Uh, so anyway, I don't hear the cat not, is not knocking on She's the door. She's sleeping and the door is open. Yeah, the cat's gotten to the point where she doesn't even give a shit about us anymore. Yeah, she we just, fed her, we took care yeah. of her, that's it. She figures we weren't going to beat her. So and she's going home tomorrow. Yeah. And we're well, going to miss her. Well, that the usual attitude of cats? They, well, they it don't took give her a, a shit. while. We've been taking care of her off and on for the last year and a half. Yeah. 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 And it's taken her a while. The first time she this is the first. This is the first time she's really been comfortable with us. Yeah. yeah. Well, she, now she's used to going to Aunt Marjorie and Uncle Alex's That's house. That's right. Yeah. 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 It's like going to camp. But because uh, our apartment's so I don't large. know. We're gonna have to get a cat or something. 
because I, I I loved having another another leaving breathing thing yeah, but here you know, during the day. Because I work, it'll end up being your cat. Yeah. Well, that's the cats that's are true. easy. They, they can't be any easier to take care of. Yeah, cats are easy. Yeah. Yeah. It's not like you have to go out down to the street and walk, walk it and four times the, a day and, pick and up the shit. Yeah, and they they poop in their box. Yeah, you know, These cats are easy, and they're great. They're great company. Yeah. Then the apartment starts stinking from uh, cat litter. Uh, uh, not this cat litter. Not, 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 oh, oh no, they've got they the technology of cat boxes is incredible. has so well, improved. Uh, uh, what's uh, uh, Rob has one of these cat boxes. Oh, I'm gonna take it over to mine now oh, and oh, show it to oh, you. Oh, yeah. Yeah. oh this, this, I, told, I told another friend about that. Uh, and I'll tell you, my cat. I just have a regular old fashioned. Thing full of cat shit too right now. Yeah, oh, yeah. There the, it is the on kitty the litter, floor. The kitty litter that you use is, you know, I don't smell much no, here, stuff. Here, here, look do, at what, like, look man, at what he got. Let me, uh, let me put Here's this. Rob's uh, uh, egg. Let me make the screen big here for people uh, so that they can. There we go. That's a litter box. Yeah, is there a that's cat a litter there? box. That's a, a cat can, in there. Can, can you make it work? So you, yeah, can you make watch. it rotate? Uh, yeah. Uh, okay. Okay. And Alex always wanted to do paint drying. This is better. So, look at this. <laughs> so what is it doing now? Explain. So what would happen here normally is the cat would go in and do its business. Yeah. And then about seven minutes later, as soon as the cat leaves, yeah. this thing cycles and all the... Can you see the litter inside? Yeah. 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 You see the little net kind of... that, Like the mesh? Yeah. yeah. It falls it's, in the, there. The litter is going through the mesh. This is clumping litter. It takes all the clumps and all the poop. And the, the the litter is going underneath now, right? It's going through that mesh. Yeah. And at some point, you'll see coming up in just a couple of seconds here, you'll see a hole. Mm -hmm. Now, if there were any waste in here, can you see that hole? Yeah. yeah. Bam, it gets dumped right down there. <laughs> underneath this step here, you pull that out. That's a drawer. It's got a garbage bag. Uh, it's got a regular kitchen garbage bag in it. Uh -huh. and, and it everything dumps, falls boom. into that. Now the the goes back the other way. Yeah, and it resets itself. Look Often, at the cat. Yeah, but how does out. it how does it get litter back in it? Well, you'll see now. It's the exact same. The the, the litter isn't removed. It's underneath. Oh. It's it's in it's in it's in that globe. It only it's because it's sifted. The only the yeah. crap is getting. Uh, oh, that's yeah. not you'll a cat see, sitting in there. You'll that's see just... as it comes back in, the litter will actually just filter right back in. And you have to no. clean that tray out. Once a week, you take the, you take, the, you pull this out, and you you cinch it, throw it in the garbage pail. Is there any smell from the tray? No. Well, no, not really. And they give you filters. There's there's uh, charcoal filters that you put in there, and now you see the litter coming back in. Mm -hmm. Is the cat in there now? No. <laughs> no, the cat. It doesn't. It would stop if the cat jumped in. Oh. Oh, and so now mechanism. the litter is coming filter. back in. Oh, there it is. Right. Oh, wow. Well. And not only will it come back in, you'll I see, see some. I, see I, see some, some I saw some poop there, though. There's a black dot. From oh, system. <laughs> that must have been prior to the seven minutes that the cat had mm, left. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Well, see, I, you know, even on mine, I just buy. I have a regular tray, but I buy the sifter bag. There's no poop in there. So, it's clean. There's nothing in there. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. All right. Okay. Now, he's even got one other interesting thing. He's got a feeder that the cat has something, that Rob has it. A, a cat has something on his collar, walks up to the feeder, the feeder opens, and the cat gets the food. I guess the other cat was eating the one cat's food. And, yeah, uh, what's happening? The, uh, the, the, the baby was eating all the... The grown up eating stuff. All the, the, uh, the, my, my old lady, my old lady's uh, cat's uh, food. Yeah. And... Uh, so we had to get put a little charm around her neck, and it's uh, like a like a bell. No, it, it's not a bell. It's just a little charm, and it, it there's a little um, like a little RFID or sensor on it that it recognizes her. When she goes in front of the dish, the door opens. Oh. If my if the other cat goes in front of the dish, the door doesn't open. Ah, okay. Well, that would you know keep in the in New York. You got a lot of uh, rodents, things like that. That would keep them out of the uh, out of the dish. That's true. I didn't even think of that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yes. It's, yes. It works really well. They 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 last. They're not cheap, but those things last. I have two of them. I have one upstairs because yeah. I have two cats now. But Maxie, I 
I had that out one. Well, 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 Marjorie, like, tell them about the, the, the box that Natalia brought. It, it has a... It has a litter that doesn't smell, and it's got where she could pee, and it goes... It bl- goes the, through the bottom of it right. onto a pad. right. And then the poop stays on the top, and I put it in and the toilet. And you sift that. Right, it goes but, right in the toilet. But, but it, uh, the, and then, no you, smell. Then, then if it starts to smell from the pee, you, you just change simply the change the pad. That's all. But you only left right. us with one. <laughs> all I have to we do is one. take my dog out, walk her, rain, shine, cold, warm. Uh, the dog poops on the grass. I have a little bag. I pick up the yeah, bag. Yeah, but you got to walk the fucking dog. The cat does in this the, in the house. Right. Yeah, but she doesn't poop in the house, and I don't have to smell it. Yeah, I don't smell it here. Nobody walks yeah. in the house. We don't it. smell this poop with this thing. No. Yes, uh, yes, Jason had his cats. hand up. Jason had his hand up. So you have two That's cats, and, and does each one know which box is theirs? They use any one of them. Oh, They're, okay. Yeah, they don't care. Yeah, it's yeah. So my, mine's even easier. You know, it's just it's cheaper. It's just a sifter bag. So once a week, I take the sifter bag. Try it once a week. Take the sifter bag out. All stuff just sifts, sifts down to the next bag. But I was curious. You know, I thought I heard you talk, talking about with your cats losing teeth or something before. Like my cat, its breath stinks so oh, bad. It smells like rotting vet. flesh. You need to take it to the vet. <laughs> but. Like yeah. She still eats her solid food. Yeah, but they she have gum problems. Dangerous for the cat. Is it's swallowing it? all that poison that that cat needs to get her teeth cleaned, and there's rot in there. And that might mean, like, my Maxie, my older cat, she's had, like, three teeth extracted. Wow. Because if they, too. Too, yeah, if they go too much, they if you don't get them out. cleaned, like, right. like every couple She's, like, 12 years, years old. <laughs> well, my, uh, it. It's because but of the healthy that smell. That's it's, a smell. Uh, Rob, it's because of the Healthy Paws insurance. You know, uh, we found our dog on the freeway, and she had problems, and we had to have teeth pulled, uh, th- things removed from her gums. Uh, one of them was 1500 The other was 800 And the insurance and doesn't cover shit. Covered it. Nothing. Yeah. Yeah, no, yeah, they have insurance now. I know, but it doesn't. It's, it's like our, our. Well, how much does the insurance cost a year? Uh, now I'm at $36 a month. A month. I'm at thirty dollars a month, and I had no problem whatsoever. They covered the only thing they don't cover is maintenance. But this wasn't maintenance. This was, uh, you know, uh, surgery, uh, yeah, and right. uh, the other things that uh, that happened with it. And so this hey, this Patrick. plan was really so good. For, if any, if for you get a pet, for, essentially for about one hundred and sixty dollars a year, your cat is health. Uh, no, is, it's more than it's that. a little more than that. No. Right, thirty, uh, it's like thirty bucks. Uh, 30, oh, excuse me, excuse me, three hundred and sixty dollars yeah. a year. Uh, you're taking care of your. Uh, didn't I figure that yeah. one out right? Yeah. No, was, but uh, you know the thing both. is, you won't have to put them down because right. it's going to be five thousand or ten thousand dollars for some sort of cancer thing. Right. Uh, you know, and uh, I don't know. You know, I love this dog, but I don't know if yeah. I'd spend ten thousand. Well, I had to. I, <laughs> I had to put a cat down, but that was simply telling him that the dog was better. <laughs> and with that, I'm going to wish everybody a happy new year. Happy new year. Happy and new hopefully, year, the Mark. next time I see you, my brace will be off. Yeah. Yeah. We'll be dancing around. And I'll studio. have prostate cancer. <laughs> of course. <laughs> oh, happy new year, everybody. Anyway. Bye. Good, Good, Good night. Good night. Now get the fuck out of here. Watch. <laughs> oh, well, as you're leaving, as you're leaving, let me just go to my camera here. I want them to see your. Maybe you can show them your. Uh, your, your, yeah, your, your thing here. Wait a minute. You got to go over there though, because that's where they would see you. Let me get this that's out where of the, the door way. Is. There we go. Okay. Now, okay. The brace. Oh, yeah. she's wearing yeah. the gabnet garb. Look, look, you see. really yeah. can't see it. It goes up to here. Yeah, yeah. Wow. It, it's, it's, uh, it, it goes no, all. It they goes. don't do plaster of Paris casts anymore, huh? Yeah. Then you Can can't you sign it? it. They don't do plaster of Paris casts now. <laughs> that's what wow. they do. They do braces. They do braces. Yeah. yeah. It's actually better because that probably guys. doesn't itch like a plaster of Paris. Right, but you can't autograph. You can't put your name on it. No. You can't sign your name to it. <laughs> yeah. You know. Uh, but anyway. Good night, dear. Good night, dear. Okay, bye bye. You can pin a business okay. card to it. Huh? <laughs> 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 yes, uh, <laughs> Patrick. Uh, speaking of the plaster of Paris cast, one of my fondest memories from childhood when I had a number of uh, surgery done on my leg when I was a kid mm-hmm. with uh, some bowed legs and so they had to break them and get them straight but I had 
casts that were all the way up to my hips. Yeah. And one of the greatest feelings in the world was when you'd take a piss and your dick would get stuck on the plaster and how it burned. That burning feeling, I can feel right now as I'm telling you that, that plaster and penises do not mix. Are you bragging? I thought that that was an, an an ankle cast, and that means that uh, it had to be pretty long to reach down there. <laughs> yeah. just, I haven't thought about that until just now when, when you brought it up. I haven't thought about that for years. So thank you for bringing you, that. You, that. you know, Patrick, you've lived <laughs> most of your life with many different medical wow. problems, right? Yeah. Yeah. And and Alex, you've lived your life thinking about many different Oh, worrying that I was problems. going to get them. Yeah. 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 So, you know, but maybe this time I got something. Who knows? You know. We'll we'll find hey, You can always hope. You can <laughs> always hope. Yeah. Uh yes, uh, Jason. So, I have to tell you, I just actually got done probably an hour before I came on here watching three still standing with Bubs and uh um, Will and Will, it, I, yeah. I could not believe. Like I, I listen to Bubs on your show all the time, mm -hmm. but listening to like parts of his sets, that guy is funny as hell. Yes, you know I cannot yes. believe that he hasn't become bigger than what he is. I just it was, I was laughing, I was rolling, I was laughing my ass off. Where do, you, where do you watch that? It's on uh, uh, Amazon. It's, uh, was it on Amazon? Yeah, yeah. Prime. It's called Three Still Standing. Uh, yeah, I, I was, thought it was called Still Standing, and I was looking that up, and uh, some other you know comedian in uh, Canada talking about little Bodong towns that are dying, and then yeah. oh, okay. I had to look it up, yeah. and I was yeah, three still standing. No, I mean Bubs. The problem with Bubs is uh, Bubs is a very funny comedian in clubs, but if you can see him on television, he his facial expressions are incredible. And he sells it with his face. And uh, uh, I didn't realize, I realized he was a good comedian. I didn't realize how good a comedian until I saw him do Letterman, both the first and second time. That when they got a close up of his face while he was doing his comedy, that sold it. You know? Yeah, I think the funniest was he said something about, yeah, look at me, E.T. and Rain Man had a baby. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It was just right. so funny. I I uh There's I Bubs. got a first for this uh, yeah. one. Yeah. Uh this is uh Bubbles. I, I called it comedy whisperer. Yeah. yeah. And uh so uh, I'm gonna uh, give that to him uh when I see him next. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and, and you know, they're totally making fun of him the whole time about having dial up and a flip phone and all that stuff too. I thought that was cool as hell. Yeah, well we, that's what we talked to him a lot about. You know, yeah. I've offered him one of my iPhones and I said, All you have to do is go out and get uh internet service in your home. Well, he doesn't have to get internet service in his home to have a cell phone. Well, he needs it to get all the apps and do things like that. You know? well, he, well, no, he, he can, can do it through the phone. cellular. What, what have I told him? He doesn't have what, a, he doesn't oh, internet in his house? Oh, I told him he to go, go out and just talk to oh AT&T and find out how much it would cost <laughs> to turn the phone on. Uh, but he won't do any of the things. To how does, how does he interested. post all his stuff to Facebook? Dial up. Uh, does no. he post stuff to Facebook? I yeah, he's got a Facebook thing, and he, he's on it. Maybe he's got someone who does. Maybe that for he's him. lying to me. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe uh, I'm he's, sure yeah. Facebook doesn't take too much. Are, to are you a Facebook with. friend of his, Larry a, Brown? Of Bubbles? No, I don't think yeah. so. Uh, I am. So let me look. Wait a minute. Let uh, me. Let me. I'll look here. I'll see. Wait a minute. Uh, Larry Bubbles Brown. Let's see here. No, Larry. no bubbles. Just uh, Larry Brown. Larry Brown. Okay. Uh, oh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. I he is a, he is a friend of mine. Um, right. Let me see here. So okay. it's pretty sad today. You got to look at your computer to see if somebody's your friend. <laughs> 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 what would have been sadder is if he had to look at my page to find him. <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly. So anyway, um, uh, uh, you know, um, Bubs is a funny guy. He's a very funny guy. 
I, and I love him too. But, but he, he, that whole thing about him being the ultimate luddite is true. I mean, he still has a flip phone. Yep, they showed it on it. <laughs> if he wow. wants to send a text, he has to like. If he wants like B, he has to push A twice. Yeah. One twice. You remember when you used to have to do that? I mean, it'd take yeah. you a year to send a sentence. I, I never sent any text messages when I had a flip phone. Listen, yeah, I don't even... My, da my daughter did, but I refused to. How many here with their, with their phones and they send texts, how many of you actually type it out and how many of you do what I do and that's dictated? 99% of the time I type it unless I can't spell it and then I dictate the word. I only dictate it when I'm driving. I dictate it all to the do time. The dictaphone. It, it, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh. Apple CarPlay does a great job. It'll it'll alert me that there's a message. Do you want to hear it? I say yes. It then reads it to me and it says, "Would you like what, to reply?" Comic, and I say yes. What comic and then book? It says, "What would oh. you like to say?" And then I just say it. It repeats it. Do you want to send it? Send it. Uh, and it's who, thanks. Who, Done. Who is the comedian? I'm trying to remember his name now. Uh, who the line is, uh, uh, do you know how to use a dictaphone? No, I use my finger like everybody else. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty good. Uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> but anyway. Um, um, wasn't, wasn't Georgie Jessel. No, was, uh, what's Dom Herrera? That was Dom Herrera. Another one of the funniest men who ever lived that you never heard of. Okay. Never. Uh, but, uh, I mean, his act is just like that, one line after another like that. Uh, so who was the steel guy? Because you saw the same... Uh, well, he, little... Steel is an asshole. Uh, he's the guy... Like he's a he's nice a, guy, he, but... He's, he's just, the guy you know, that weaseled me... Was he a disc jockey? He weaseled himself yeah. into my job when I left at Live 105. They gave him the, the job. Was he the the same... Uh, uh... Yeah, he lasted about a month, I think, or something like that, and that was it. You know, but he was a real weasel. Just like that, I guess I, maybe I didn't see as much of his comedy or appreciate it because I was like, you know, the, he he's was, a comedian. <laughs> well, he uh, wasn't as good as the other two. I mean, Bubbles is a terrific comedian, and 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 uh, uh, Durst is, well, is very accomplished at what he does. You know, okay. um, and uh, Steele just knows how to steal a radio show from you. So That's about it. Now, was yeah. Durst the one that his wife got hit by a car in Mexico? No, no, no. That no. Bobby That's Bobby Slayton. Okay. So then, is that Durst's wife still oh. in that was in that documentary? Yeah, or? that's that's yeah. Huh. That's Mrs. Durst. That's Debbie. Um, yeah, she's a comedian too. She is. Yeah. Yes. <clears throat> and uh, she's responsible for uh, the Robin Williams Meadow. Uh, uh, being named that in the Golden Gate Park, yeah. where they do the uh, comedy uh, show every year. Yeah, and she uh, she she does she, she really uh, pretty much handles that show now, the Comedy Day yeah. celebration in the park. Yeah, yeah, uh, and it's uh, you know I mean, but uh, um, uh, these are guys who have been around a long time and never really seen any great amount of fame. And uh, although Durst works it, you know Durst works it. But Bubbles is kind of, he's not aggressive, right? You know, mm -hmm. and God knows he works enough considering he doesn't go out and try and find the work. Yeah. And, you know, he doesn't want any pictures of him now. He only wants to use earlier stuff. I, yeah. I don't understand why. An ageist thing? It doesn't well, look too no. much different. Well, look, no, show, show, show that picture of him again. Right. Uh, because I, there's something you got to know. This guy, it's not that's or, it's not the Gonzo, the guy in front of him, right? That's Gonzo, the guy right? Behind. Yeah. yeah. That is a face made for being a supporting actor. <laughs> Isn't it? You know? I mean, he's got a quality to him that he could be could be used. And a lot of these people just don't they're not aggressive, you know? Uh if Durst, I got to say Durst gets up every morning looks at his calendar and if he sees a blank spot on it he's got he then works his ass off to try and fill it uh uh bubbles on the other hand wakes up sees a blank space on his calendar and goes oh i've got a night off you know i mean uh it, it it's it's a matter of how aggressive you are you know there are a lot of comedians who are terrible who do very well and it's because they're very aggressive at it 
Um, it's not something you just say, you know, you can't get this idea that if you're just really good at what you do, fame is going to find you. That yeah. just did, doesn't happen. Did anybody see the Gilda Radner special on CNN? No. Yeah, well, part of it. Yeah, yeah it, was, it was good. On um, what? I enjoyed it. Well, I, no, where I, was it? It said CNN. CNN, yeah. CNN. That, when did they yeah. run that? They ran it New Year's night at about 9 p.m., yeah, and uh, it's they keep promoting it, so they're they're running it all month, I guess. But uh, it was really good. It took her, it took you through her childhood, all through, you know, how she got into comedy, through her beginnings at uh, uh, what was the there was one before Second City that she was that she was involved in. Then she yeah. got to Second City, wound up at SNL. She was the first person actually hired by uh, uh, SNL. Yeah, and through meeting Gene Wilder and then getting sick and really a, a great uh, a great special yeah I, I liked her I always thought she was very I did accomplished too. I thought very she was funny. very accomplished you know um, uh, it's a shame though I don't think she had the career she would have had had she not had sickness you know I mean she really kind of only got to a certain level and she couldn't get beyond. gave it up like she she felt overwhelmed right around the time she left Saturday Night Live. She was depressed. It, it talks about it in the special. She suffered a lot. She was one of these people that felt a lot of pressure and she lost herself. Did and she have so cancer? She, this was after the, the cancer was after. Oh. Um, then she had a comeback on Gary. It's Gary Shandling show. She she made an appearance on right, there, and, right. and she had like this comeback after she was sick. Um, but uh, the reason she disappeared was because she just couldn't handle it. Or she just it wasn't you know. It I'm was, trying uh, to I'm trying to remember if uh, I've seen this special before, or is this just brand new. new? This is brand. This brand one's brand new because I've seen one on it premiered New Year's night. Yeah, yeah. It premiered New Year's night. Yeah, um, is it on demand? Uh, probably. Yeah, probably. Maybe not right now. It's just a couple of days old, but it will be very soon. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, I can go steal it somewhere and watch it. Yeah. It was very good. It was good. Yeah. So anyway, um, um, so uh, uh, I'm. Hey, before I, you get to the yeah. politics and stuff, you know, we, no, we I thought we talked. About, I thought uh, we talked for the next talk hour about my fact that I'm having the blood test on Monday. I thought we'd talk <laughs> about that for the whole last hour of the show. <laughs> We talk about uh, Amazon, how it's taken over the world, yeah. and how it's bad. And, you know, I'll tell you what. What? They could take over the world as far as I'm concerned. Amazon? Yeah. Why? Because, well, because every time I turn around, I have another experience with Amazon that just makes me feel really good. So, you know, you bought that NAS, I bought a NAS, right? And mm -hmm. we bought the drives, you know, those $89 yep. uh, four terabyte drives, yep. right? So I had one go bad. Really? Yeah. I had it in the, the NAS for about, uh, uh, I don't know, 10 days or so. And then all of a sudden I come in one morning and I see that it's uh, one of the, the red light on the drive. So I pulled the drive out. I reseated the drive. I tried everything I could. The drive was dead. Luckily, you know, it's in a raid group, so you don't lose data. Mm -hmm. So that, that was nasty. Nasty. Yeah. So, so I, I reach out to the vendor that we bought the drives from mm -hmm. and they want me to send back the drive and then after they receive it they'll send me another drive and I said bullshit this is a raid group I'm not playing that crap you send me the drive immediately and then I'll set what am I going to do with the did bad we drive? get I'll them from a back. third party yeah it's called DR something uh, yeah uh, I can't remember so I got pissed off and I said you know what fuck it I took all my data off the drives and I said I'm 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 returning them and I'm going to get these drives elsewhere. So I sent them in a uh, nasty gram saying, I'm done with you. I'm, I'm, I'm re I want these drives. You get 30 days, right? I'm returning them. I took my data off of everything. I shut it down, right? And uh, I was like, okay, good. I'm done. Then I called Amazon. And I got Amazon on the phone. And I, and I said to them, because I, I was trying to do it via the, you know, the web. And then I got a, a message that said, this drive is not a, a, available for uh for a refund and I, I got on the phone with them and I spoke to a woman and she said to me don't worry about it at all she said don't just contact us you're our customer mm -hmm. and we we don't want you to suffer with these things 
We'll take all three drives back, no questions asked, and we'll there'll be new drives there Monday. I'll have them to you on Monday. And I was like, she said, just don't sweat it. Don't worry about going to the vendors. You come to us. You're our customer. They're this is the, the woman. Bar. This is, yes. This is, uh, now this is not, I didn't have to be, I didn't have to be escalated to anybody. These regular customer service people who you could tell she was from another country, right? She wasn't any supervisor. She said, I, I will take care of this for you. I'm so sorry this happened to you. End of story. Monday, the drives will be at my door. You can't beat Amazon. I'm Monday, sorry, the care. drives were at your door, I trust. Monday, these, well, no, this happened tonight. Uh -huh. Monday, the drives will be at my door. Wow. You know, it's like Costco wait, 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 and Nordstrom. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Patrick has his hand up. Yeah. Has had it up for a while. I had, there's a nowhere near quite the experience, but I ordered a book. And I ordered a paperback version of the book. And I would somehow charge for a hardback. And I didn't really notice it. I got the book and it was paperback. And I went to, to check again the price. It didn't seem right. So I called them and they refunded me $5 on it. And they only needed to refund me like $3 on the damn thing. And it was credit. It wasn't to my account, uh, my bank account, but just credit right there at Amazon. And I turned around the same day and I bought some other shit with that extra five dollars. And and the woman told me, just like with you, uh, Rob, no problem. You know, just that. You know, I'm glad you called. And it was again through a third party vendor, and I didn't even realize that. And she said, "It five dollars, okay." And I'm thinking I'm just going to get the different, you know, the three dollars, right? Right. So I'm, yeah, they can take over the world. I <laughs> tell you something though, uh, the bar is being raised at my company. I belong to a buying group, and we have an agreements with our suppliers. It's called the beautiful guarantee, and only we have it. And what happens is, if we put the floor in, and our average sale is five thousand dollars. So if we do a $5,000 job, $10,000 job, and you're not happy with it for any reason, including color, style, you pick another one, we'll not only change it, we'll also pay the labor. The customer pays nothing. So if you got a $20,000 floor and said, and even ceramic tile, and you're not happy, you said, I don't like the color, I went on the prices right, I got new furniture, this doesn't go with it, uh, you got 120 days. Okay, but that's, uh, it's not exactly what we're talking about here. No, no, it's raising uh, the bar of customer service. Well, well, here, no, but let me yeah. just, is, let me explain something. Let me, satisfaction and service. Because uh, 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 Rob and I have had a, a very similar experience here, and we both bought RAID drives at the same time. I don't know how many how many uh, uh, discs go into your RAID drive. Three. Three. Four. I bought the one that takes four. Right. Okay. So first of all. Eh, I got I, the one that takes five. <laughs> did you set it up for RAID 5 or RAID 3, or are you mirroring the drives? or RAID 5. RAID 5. Dude, this is a month-long conversation. So I bought 16, 16 terabytes <laughs> of drives, and I'm getting 10 out of it. You know. 16 but terabytes anyway, of anyway, let, let me finish what I was saying. <laughs> uh, so uh, I uh, uh, buy it from, on Amazon through this third party, and they... Uh, no, send it you, to you me. You got it on something else. It wasn't Amazon. Oh, no, no, no. I wait said, a minute. Well, you, I'm t I know what I bought it through, Phil. I bought it on <laughs> bought Amazon, it on, but they... Rob, Rob had this site. Uh, will you let uh, me I finish? Sent him the link, no, but it was an no, Amazon no. link. Phil, oh, okay. Phil, I got... I, I, I ordered on his site and then Woot, and then I said, forget it, because I realized that on uh, Amazon, I could use my American Express rewards points and get the thing for... get a better one for nothing. Okay, yeah. so anyway, so I had these people. I ordered it. It, uh, it. I each day I check to see when it's supposed to be here. It's supposed to be here on Friday. Finally, it says it's been delivered, and I go and I go to my front door, and it's not there. And I go down to my uh, lobby, and it's not there. And I go back this to all the other lobbies the in the apartment building, and it's not there. What it is is this third party shipped by UPS, but the last leg of that ship is done by USPS. And they are so fucked. 
in my neighborhood. I don't know where this thing wound up, but it wasn't in this building. Okay, so what happened was, I, I, I see your hand, Jason. I'll go to you next, but uh, um, it's going to take a little time here. <laughs> so I, uh, I, uh, uh, I finally called this company and I said, it never arrived. And they said, okay, well, we'll, uh, we'll uh, return the, uh, the money to your card, which they actually didn't do immediately. Didn't they uh, ask you to wait till Monday? Uh, well, no, yeah. they asked me to wait till Monday, and I called them on Monday. They said it hasn't, left it hasn't, hasn't arrived yet. And they <laughs> said, fine, uh, you know, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll take care of it for you. And um, in the meantime, I just said, cancel it. And I went down to B&H, who had it for $20 less, okay? And I bought it at B&H. Um, you bought it from the Hasidim. I got it, you know, I didn't have to wait for it to come for a week or whatever. Then all of a sudden, Wednesday, I'm at home, and it comes in the mail. It, it shows up. I, and I said to the guy, who, who prose man who handed it to me, what happened here? He said, oh, it wound up in a, we were in another lobby. I said, well, it wasn't there the other day. They said, probably it went to some other address. And then it got sent over here finally and wound up in, in the lobby and I'm building one. And uh, it was just, it was a mess, but I, I managed to ship, called them. They said, ship it back as soon as we get it, which they're gonna get it on Monday. We'll return the money to your, to your account. And then, then I can call Amex and say, uh, give me back my rewards points. But that's not the end of the story. So I've got this thing, it's JTAP is the name of the company, if I'm not mistaken. QNAP. QNAP. <clears throat> I, uh, I get it. This is a mystery world to me, as you know, but somehow I managed to get it up and running. But then I had a problem where I got rid of a folder, at least on the machine, but it wouldn't go away on my various things like my TV sets. The folder was still there, and I couldn't figure out how to get rid of it. So I wrote a little note to the company. How do I get rid of this thing? And uh, a guy, I guess in China with the company, started communicating with me and say, tell me how the problem is. How did this happen? How did that happen? Let me get back to you in a day or so. Let me play around with this and figure out what happened. He then gets a hold of me. He says, here, go do this, do that. I will go on to the machine. I will get rid of that folder for you. And I mean, he must have spent a lot of time on me. A guy only spent 100, 279 bucks with his company. Now you must send me three hundred dollars no. in Bitcoin, or <laughs> else all of your. No, I mean it was the best, literally the best thing I've ever seen any company do. This little company, he just, you know, I'm this little pissant guy. I'm sure they've got corporate accounts, and he was there to take care of it for me, and I was very appreciative of that. I mean, That's cool. uh, I came back. He he played around with some thing. He went on to the thing and played with it or whatever and all of a sudden it's no longer up on my uh up on I, my... I got a guarantee for gabnet if you don't like the show you'll give us our two hours back yeah exactly <laughs> okay jason you had your hand up but the, so, yeah, I, I had the same situation yeah go ahead so here here's where like because you actually just did a recap and a spoiler thanks for uh, where I left off <laughs> and the shows. Um, why not like someday when you're in a good positive point of view and mindset, go down yeah. to the post office and say, hey, this is a problem I've been experiencing. Is there some type of solution that we can work out together? Because you live, didn't you say you live a block well, away? Well, I worked the problem out with Amazon. You have an AK-47? Wait a minute. I, no, I, maybe, I, no, I, you live I, a block away. I, maybe if you no, get to I, get a P.O. I, box I, I and worked, have your stuff delivered there and you pick it up. I worked the problem out. I've worked it out. I got a hold of Amazon a long time ago and they put me on a list where I am not to be, have anything shipped to me by USPS. Yeah, they but what put happened? You on the list, right. this, huh? No, this was a they, third. They put you on the shit list. No, this, <laughs> this no, they don't. They put they I get all my stuff from UP, uh, UPS and FedEx. I do not get anything via Did you the hear post that office. Amazon well, wait a minute, let me customers. finish. Let me finish what I'm saying, <laughs> Phil. What Take happened? Gab of what <laughs> What happened here? was that uh, uh, they um, uh, had the, the, the third party who to ch send it cheaply went by UPS on the first leg, but as soon as it got to New York, it was handed off to USPS. Now, 
if it were just coming through uh, uh, Amazon, I would have been fine. It would have been no problem. I would have gotten it very nicely, you know. But it, it, it's, you know, the post office is so fucked, I can't believe it, you know. Um, so Thank God I'll they're not. Say, I've never had a problem with the post office. Yeah, well, hey, but you don't live in Harlem, you know. No, that was your first mistake. Yes, uh, Patrick. You know, with, with that beard, he, he looks a little like a terrorist, so he probably doesn't have a problem with the post office. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, yes, Patrick. See, my issue is with FedEx and UPS, not the postal service, because when they come to my door, like if most of the shit that I get, I want signature anyway, because I don't want some idiot picking it off the porch, you know, yeah. and I live, I live in a good area, but there's still assholes out there, so a lot of the stuff I get is signature, but I've got to put a note on my fucking door to say, give me at least two minutes to get to the door, because I'm in a wheelchair, and I'm on the other end of my place, I need time to get there, Right. and he's an idiot, they'll ring the doorbell once, and I can see them sprinting away. <laughs> you know, it's just, they don't want to wait for anything. Yeah. Like, wow. the only, but yeah. then the post office, they they know me. The, the gal that delivers um, 90% of the time, unless she's on vacation, she knows me. So if there's something that needs a signature or something, she waits. So, you know, okay. I let me give you a hint call. about, let me give you a hint about our post office. I called <laughs> them on this deal. And I said, I've got a problem. She says, do you have the ID number? And I said, well, I have the uh, UPS number. And she says, uh, you have to have the ID number. And then I said to her, she said, and plus the fact that uh, when some one of our postal people went over a few weeks ago, somebody said, what are you doing in our building? Didn't, you know, and, was, and they were very nasty to our postman. So we don't like to deliver there anymore. <laughs> I said, what? 800 units. I said, What? I said, what part, part about neither rain nor sleet nor dark of night will stop you from your rounds, don't you understand? But not in the hall. It's the union. Yeah. I mean, it was, it, it, I mean, uh, when I heard part. that, I went, you're not going to deliver to my building because some woman asked what he was doing there? You know, I mean, just amazing. No uniform? Who, who knows? I don't know. You know, you know, the post office people wear a uniform it's, it's with an bizarre. American flag and all sorts but, of other stuff. But it was a bizarre journey but, trying, but even, trying to find this package. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, when I'd given up on it completely, here comes the postman saying, well, look what I've got for you. Look what I found over in Lobby One. And I'm going, Jesus. It was like a well, week later. I, you know? I made a mistake. I once sent you something, and I put, uh, uh, a, not an, I put an L and not an I. And it wound up and in it, another and, building. And it went to the other other building. Yeah, but somebody over there knew and right. came over here. Uh, otherwise, I would have never found it. <laughs> that was the computer, wasn't it? Yeah. Well, in this case, in this case, what happened was uh, the people who shipped it to me, for some reason, left off the apartment number. But that's fine. So you leave it in one of the lobbies, and somehow it will eventually get to me because the super will see it or whatever. It never, I looked in all the lobbies. It never got to this building. It was never delivered here, you know. And um, I've read that the post office, uh, a lot of complaints about the post office about people not delivering packages, just deciding it's too late and they dump them off in a garbage can, you know, things like that. So, yeah. you know. Well, they don't ring the bell uh, or knock on the door at uh, my apartment when they when Amazon delivers something. The only time I know that there's something there is the dog makes a beeline for the door if somebody was there and it goes. Ah, la, 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 la. And it's got to get one I, of those video doorbells. Uh, I, I, I see them on my ring. I see the postman put the thing on my yeah. steps nicely. Oh, nice. I see Absolutely. the Amazon and the FedEx people throw it. The UPS guy is usually pretty good, too. But Did you notice how fast a certain Amazon service went away, though? Remember the one they were going to start where you you put in a certain thing like a ring or whatever? and they, oh, and they, they open the, the door? The post, a post guy, the uh, Amazon guy, can open, or UPS, right. mm -hmm. can open the door. Okay, yeah, that went and away? Put, they get a one-time code or something. Yeah, I think it's done. They oh, did I didn't away know with that. I know they did away with that. Too many complaints about, you know. Did, people, did, did they, they do away with the drone? 
Weren't they going to deliver by drone also? Yeah, that, that's the future. Never were able to. Yeah. yeah. That's the future if they ever... That's their want. I don't know yeah. that they'll ever... It's like I don't think I don't think we're going to have self-driving cars as soon as people think either. So yeah, yeah they want to deliver with self-driving cars too. We're not. Yeah, gonna... we'll see. About that. By the way, is the, is the post office are they are they getting paid during this? Uh... Yeah, yeah they're they are. They're not. They are. They have a separate budget. They are. Yeah. They are part of the federal budget. Oh, right. because they're self-sustaining is what they are. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. So who 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 isn't getting paid? Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, TSA no, has been getting paid. TSA. TSA. I I, I want to see. I got to go to Washington uh, next week. I want to see how they're going to treat me going through the line now that they're not getting paid. Yeah. You know, I all they go can the do the month I have to fly. Yeah. All they can do now is steal your shit. So you know, out of your bag. Well, and, and, that's and I think a too. lot more stuff is going to get stolen now that they're not getting paid. The border <laughs> patrol. Uh, is not getting paid, you know, and then all of the, oh, by the uh, way, by uh, the way, the, judges, the courts that handle uh, the, uh, the courts that handle immigration, yeah, uh, are are all closed. The yeah. IRS, uh, I had a call the IRS, and I got a recording yep. uh, that that said uh, it's not available at this time. Yep, wow. and the Coast Guard. Yeah, wow. But uh, they'll get the money eventually. Uh, yeah, yeah, but, but that's you not go the to work it, every day. You know, Americans live I'm paycheck self -employed. to paycheck. Sometimes I go to work a long time before I see. No, you know, but a but 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 you you have come become accustomed to that, right? Because that's the way your your business runs. So you make sure you have a little money in the bank, so that if this happens, you can see yourself through those times. These people didn't expect that. These are civil servants. They expect a paycheck every couple of weeks, right? That's why they took civil service jobs. They get paid yeah. less, but they well, get yeah. the, be there the forever. People, the people, the border guards, and the ones who work the border, the, yeah. those agents. Do you see there's a hand up, they, Phil? 80, 80 Phil, do you see there's a hand the up? Yeah, he's just he's in Detroit. He's always got his hands up. Don't oh, shoot. Anyway, don't yeah, shoot. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, uh, yes, Jason. So, so I know, Phil, you are your pro wall, right? Of yeah, sure. Now, or do, do you know it. what that's going to do to the ecology? That's actually going to make species go extinct? Yeah. Are you still for it? You're still, you're still good. Even though, in the, I think, uh, even the monarch butterfly will go extinct. Why? They, they're they not going to fly, fly over, over the wall. wall? Wait a no. minute. There are oh, monarch gosh. butterflies all the way up here in northern Virginia. How could that but be? But they go back to Mexico every year. Do they? They migrate. Yes, they Those little do freaking things visas? can fly that no. far? Yes. Every year they go yep. back to Mexico. Do, do they Holy have a visa? Shit. They're so, illegal monarchs. They're bringing in those drugs. That's how the drugs are getting in. Yeah. yeah. You know, not not by, you know, and then they use this cop killer guy, too, who, you know, you know, string him up. But, you know, he's driving a vehicle. He probably came through a legal port of entry. That's how people are coming over. That's how most of the majority of the drugs uh, are coming the over are through legal with ports the guy who of killed entries. The, cop, the guy who killed the cop uh, was arrested for drunk driving twice. And uh, they never report. And he was illegal alien. They never reported him to ICE. If he would have been deported, uh, the other immigrant that he killed would have, could have, uh, should have, would have, could have, should have. Oh yeah, uh, yeah. Well, what a could have showed. Yes, did he Patrick. come into the country, Phil. Did he cross the border, like jumping a part of a non-fence area, or did he just drive through, saying, "Hey, I'm coming in, I and I'm here on a visa." He probably did the latter. Came in through a legal port of entry, like the majority of illegals come in. They come in through a legal port of entry and overstay their visa. They're not well, I, jumping I a wall. They're not I crossing know. the desert. It's such a small minority. Do, of do people you know? There. Do you know how the guy did, got in? I'd like to see, hear from Patrick, who's had his hand up for the last five minutes. He likes his hand there. Uh, <laughs> something Jason said made my brain kind I know of where Patrick is going. <laughs> kind of fall out of my head. So I need <laughs> Make your fucking mind blow up again. <laughs> yeah, I need some clarification. How is a wall gonna? Eliminate monarchs when they can fly, and they can fly over other barriers that are natural barriers. There, not walls. How in the fuck? I was watching. I was watching a thing on YouTube that was done yeah, by you scientists. Saw it on YouTube, so that it was, must be true. It was done by <laughs> scientists from the University of Texas that was yeah, talking about animals. Climate change. 
Yeah, well, there are there are coyotes Phil, and things Phil, like it was that. Fifty one yeah. degrees here in Detroit today. It should be t- like thirty two. You you should so, bless Donald Trump that you yeah. can uh, walk but, but outside anyway, with Patrick, a sweater. They're they're saying that a lot of animals because I guess on some fences they'll actually leave a four inch gap at the bottom of it to let animals cross back and forth, but they'll decide not to do it because they see the barrier and they see it as a threat to them and they're not going to put themselves in a smaller area. And even flying species like butterflies will decide because they're usually a low flying species. I'm not going to go over this. Rats. So why can't they scientifically? Why do they have to go to Mexico? Why can't they just hang out in on our side of the wall? I mean, I'm not for the wall, but I'm just questioning this because I, I knew Patrick was going there, and I I, that, I, I saw the look on his face. Why do Why do Canadian geese fly south every year? Because they want to get out of Canada. They got health care. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, it's just a, it's, it's what uh, animal does, you know. There's no, there are migration. Like said, there are like, migration patterns. Two hundred or two thousand different species Jason, that it's going to affect. I mean, Jason, the geese fly south so that they can shit on my car. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, yes, uh, uh, Rob. So I heard an interesting point today. Did anybody watch Trump's little speech this afternoon in, in the in the Rose Garden, where he no. talked about all of the craziness that's going on and saw a little bit of it. Yeah. Well, now he's talking that he wants to build a steel wall. Works. He wants it to be steel. And he steel wants it to science. be he wants it to be American steel. And you know Beautiful why, steel. You know why he wants it to be American steel? Why? Because where are all the steel plants? In Pennsylvania, in Ohio, in all the states that he needs to win. He's going to give them five billion (laughs) dollars for re-election in 2020. That's what this guy is all about. He knows he he needs to carry those states. So now he says, well, you know, and he's trying to say, well, it's going to be more expensive if we do it in steel. But this is what the Democrats want. Actually, he said it was cheaper than concrete. No, no, no. He said it's more expensive. Yeah. Yeah, he said, yeah, yeah, I watched him today. He says, yeah, I know. And he threw in, yeah, I know about building stuff. Oh, he, he, he knows more about everything than anybody. You just fill every, every, every quarter mile, there's going to be a gold T on that but wall. Think about, <laughs> think about that. Now he's talking, he's, he's abandoning concrete, like he originally said in his, in his uh, campaign promise. Now he wants to make it steel because he knows he's going to give this nice big bump of money to these states who he needs to reelect him. But steel is faster to, you know, all they got to do is pile drive it. Yeah. Maybe Halliburton pulled out. I think Trump needs to be pile driven. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, even if it's concrete, they use steel to, uh, the, you know, for the forms rebar. and everything, and the and rebar and the uh, things that go but between really, each I really, panel. I really hate what that what that new uh, the freshman uh, Democratic Congresswoman said about we're going to Michigan the motherfucker. I yeah. hate that. I think she's a. I think that's stupid. I think that needs to stop. Hey, that but you, you got to remember, she's from fucking Detroit too. So. I don't care. That is that's it, hard. That, that's the way we talk. And what what what's the big deal? Trump has said so much worse than that. What is he talking nah, about? You should fire that motherfucker. A, talking about a football player right. taking a knee. Two wrongs don't because make a right. We don't steep. We don't. We don't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I I think that's being. You know, I, I'm sorry to put it this way, but that's being a liberal pussy. No, you know, no. They can't say we're we gonna impeach to... the motherfucker, and that makes the news. You're gonna. I want to impeach the motherfucker. That makes the news. Well, Come on. That, yeah, that's, but that's, wait a minute. But you know, hey. it made the news today, and and it was ama- amazing how irate certain people got over this particular thing. The and uh huh. They didn't get it right over poisoning the water or Flint no, and no. not doing anything about it. Well, for what years. they got they all get heated right over, right over yeah. that. There's a uh, a new representative in Congress. Her name, is, her name is Rashada Taib. That's Taib. what he was talking about. Yeah. Yeah. And she said about Donald Trump, we're going to go in and impeach the motherfucker. <laughs> and, and I heard. First of all, she doesn't speak for the Democratic Party because she's not part of the. She's not. She's not uh, the leadership, right? Mm-hmm. Maybe she'll speak, speak for the, the Democrats. She's speaking for herself, but still, 
you're a fucking congressman. We could say motherfucker, and we're talking here on Gabnet. And we could say yeah, motherfucker. Yeah, no. But no, but I heard, I saw this one congressman we're say, losing our decor. How, how could she use words like that? And I'm it, thinking you know, to myself, that, that's what? It's, what? It's why is this, she just said motherfucker. That's Grow why up. Democrats are losing. The president of the United States. Democrats need to grow some balls and be the hardcore hey, motherfucker. He's a bad. motherfucker, and I'll add to that cocksucker. Okay. The Republicans won, and the Democrats lost. Get over it already. Well, you know? again, hey, hey, the Democrats, the Democrats won in won Congress, and the Republicans lost. Get over it, Phil. Mm. Uh, no, they, we'll see how badly they lost. I, I don't think Nancy Pelosi, uh, with all her uh, blunder and uh, and pomp, is Even going bluster. to be with all her blunder bluster. and pomp. Bluster. What is that? Yeah. A and blunder, and bluster, pomp? bluster, bluster. Thank you. Uh, that uh, you know, I don't think she's going to get anything accomplished, and I think that Trump is going to stand up to her. She's finally met her match. <laughs> Bush, Bush, Bush was a gentleman. And, and, and wouldn't do to her the things that Trump is going to do. What's he going to hey, do? I, Grab her by the he's pussy? Gonna, no, he's going to stand up. He's going to stand up, and he's going to keep his word, and he's not going to back down. Hey, wait a minute. He, 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 he broke his word already on this wall. Hey, I just want to he wall broke the wall. No, he, oh, he broke his word on the wall. He said hey, that okay. Mexico would pay for the wall. And eventually, that was his, Mexico will no, pay. No, he said and Mexico pay would pay for the wall. Well, you know, who, you know who's, what's gonna is he going to reimburse the American public when he gets the yeah. $5 billion yeah, from I'll Mexico? Oh. Uh, what uh, he yeah. says is when the Mexicans want to send money out of the country to Mexico, yeah. there's going to be a charge on that. And that charge, because there's billions and billions of dollars that go from the United States to Mexico. Uh -huh. And and so if they uh -huh. put a, a charge uh -huh. on that, uh, yeah. that'll pay He, he can wall. just do that by snapping his finger, right? By, by, uh, by uh, uh, what do they call it? Uh, not executive, executive, uh, order. Uh, executive order? I don't yeah. think so. No. Well. No, you can't, you can't take people's hey, money. Hey, the Democrats will go he, for it. He said today, never, wait a minute, hold on a second, Jason. I'll go to, I'll go to Jason fight. next. He said today that he was uh, going to build the wall by, uh, by declaring a national emergency. Yeah. Now, before you can call something a national emergency, there actually has to be a national emergency. Yeah. You know, they're, they're coming over, they're bringing drugs, they're killing our cops. Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, Same yeah. yeah. Bullshit, You're not going to be able to sell that hey, one. Hey, so l let me get back to my point that I was trying to say earlier, because the, now this is going way back reach. I uh, just want to let you know, Rob, uh, governor for Michigan, uh, Gretchen Whitmer, she actually, her tagline in all of her ads were, we need to fix the damn roads. And she'd always concentrate that damn roads. That's fine. So, damn. But, you know, Motherfucker but, is not a... Why? why? It's, a, it's a word. It, no, and that's it's not. Where, I'm it, sorry. It is, it's I, a word. I, and I that's where maybe, maybe, it's, maybe it's a generational cross issue. Cross the line. And that's where it's a generational issue, and maybe my generation is starting to take over, and your generation needs to kind of take a step back if you have the same ideals that we How have. How old do you think we are? <laughs> You're, Phil, you are old enough to be my dad, the exact same age. So that's how old you are. Yes, Patrick. Uh, motherfucker. Patrick. <laughs> Patrick. He's gross. Uh, I, I think the impeachment thing, whether or not she said motherfucker or flowers or whatever, I think the impeachment thing for the Democrat is akin to the wall thing for Trump. Neither is going to happen. Meaning this, maybe they'll impeach him, but I think Miss Motherfucker is forgetting one little thing. <laughs> it the Senate. Yeah. So she can impeach all she wants, and she can masturbate all over the paperwork. <laughs> he got impeached, and that other bitch that was dancing, and you know, all it is. And we impeached him, yay, yay, yay. Well, Clinton got impeached too, and guess what? Right. And it, and it and it cost them. It cost the Republicans politically. Yeah. Exactly. Nancy Pelosi only got elected by two two votes in in the House, and I think the House is very fractured, and uh, that I don't see them being able to get uh, enough to do an impeachment vote. 
I, I really don't, don't hope, hope they, they, I hope they the Mueller report comes out. I hope they it don't. Depends on what Mueller finds. It's you know, less I, I than would, two years. You to the also election. you also I, forget that once it gets to the Senate, you're 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 yes. forgetting a wild card that just got Romney. into the Senate named Mitt Romney. Who, well, Romney is one person. No, you know what? No, he, but he, that's he one more vote in the Senate that. than than Don't we would that. normally have when it comes to impeachment. Yeah. Okay. But, you know, that, that's the thing. Maybe maybe she should have said, well, let's wait till the Mueller report comes out. Yeah, and if it comes out on our side, let's impeach the motherfucker. And, and that's what the, the Democratic, you know, uh, Pelosi. Like Pelosi if, if the Mueller report it. comes out and it is, it, it she does. She said we, we it, shouldn't impeach for, poli for, for politics and we shouldn't exactly. be afraid to impeach. We, should be, we shouldn't be afraid and we shouldn't do it. We need to wait for Mueller to come out and make a decision based now, on that. What happens if the Mueller report exonerates Trump? Well, then it's all over. It's okay. all over. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's all it exonerates. Over. No. It, it, then it's we, over. It's over. Over. it's over. It's over, Phil. Exonerates. Me. Yeah. Like the Republican. Now, Phil, 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 what do you think the chances know, are? Phil, what, what do you think? understand English. What do you we think? We can say means. nuclear, not nuclear. Uh, what, uh, nuclear. Let me ask you this, <laughs> Phil. Uh, what do you think are the chances that it will exonerate him? I think they're pretty good. <laughs> Everybody else is going to jail, cheers. but not him. Huh? Cheers, Phil. Cheers. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. I think we need to have a drink on that. I one. You know, I, I, I don't think he. You know that they're going to uh, say that he did anything. I don't think he had a, a hand in it. Now, maybe some of the people around him uh, are uh, going down for it. How about but if I his, I think how about if his kids are? Uh, uh, I think they were bystanders. They they weren't sophisticated enough at that the, time. I thought they were so getting the phone calls from the you know the. Hey, son. people can call. Hey, comrade. At the meeting. The comrade, meeting. I I, I, I want to have a meeting if about adopting children. If you specific no, it wasn't about adopting children. You specifically say I had a meeting with the Russians to try to get dirt on Hillary. He had a meeting he, with a he spy. Said that specifically he, yeah, that he, he met with needed. the russians to get dirt on hillary come on that that, that is hey, that's and if, collusion and if hillary hillary paid to have a phony dossier it to get phony, dirt on trump it was everything English. in that dossier has been proven true nothing's been nothing proven in that dossier has been proven oh, true Benghazi. it's a phony Benghazi. thing and the one thing that's been and proven that is the collusion yeah. wait a minute uh, charlie what so there's not one thing in that dossier that's been proven false yet. Some things haven't been proven you true yet, but there's no, everything that has proven been negative. proven one way or the other has been proven true. Hey, if, if you accuse somebody, you, you can't, uh, you can't uh, prove uh, a negative like that. When somebody <laughs> accuses you of something that's false, where are you going to get the proof that it isn't false? It, because, are you we're talking about Hillary? No, we're talking about Hillary's oh, accusation. Oh, I think talking about Hillary. Of of uh, Trump, we already know that Hillary is uh, is, is the one behind it. You know? So so oh, Hillary so, well, got his hand up. Hillary Patrick and the up. DNC, they they fucked your guy uh, Bernie Sanders with the super delegates. Then they try to uh, 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 deal with Trump uh, by coming up with a phony dossier and a phony investigation to try to uh, nullify the his uh, his time in Phil, office. Phil. Don't you really think? And then we'll go to uh, because uh, uh, Patrick. Patrick has his hand up, and then Jeff. Okay, mm -hmm. let's be honest. Trump's a creep. Well, you may not like the guy. No, no, I. I, I it, we didn't like him here in New a, York when traitor. he wasn't running for president. That's, that's not true. How can you say he's a traitor? I can he say that because he he. he does whatever what? Putin tells him to do. Yeah, but you don't know that for a fact. That's that's about as well, just and how about as the, as the dossier. And, and how about his them, his sucking up to the uh, to the uh, Saudis, yeah. sucking up to the, the Saudis, and the, uh, and he didn't did want to go into Syria. Why do you, what are you warmongers on the left? You all warmongers. You're you you know there isn't a war that you don't want to get into. Now, we didn't want to go into Iraq. Projection. We went hey, into Iraq and caused all this and, shit in the and, first place. Did you want Vietnam? Did how you about how about him cozying up to the Saudis in the light of uh, this murder that went yeah, on? Yeah, he murders hey, Kishogi or whatever his name is, and 
you know, that's he's, oh. not, it's another what aboutism from Alex. It's not a know? what aboutism. Yeah, what about about is. No, no. I mean, what oh. do you have to say about that? He cozies up to dictators and he hates uh, uh, freedom yeah, fighters. He loves you know? Kim Jong Un. You keep, you keep your friends close and you keep your enemies closer. And you're not going to get anywhere with these guys. No, hey, that uh, that that line is from The Godfather, and the mafia yeah. says that. Yeah, well, they were okay. right. Okay, but uh, you know the uh, who is it that actor that moved to Russia uh, uh, with the Charles one with the Paul ponytail? Not, uh, Van Damme. No, no, uh, no oh, yeah, Seagal. Seagal. Yeah. Yeah. And, you know, Seagal was on the radio today, and I heard him t uh, saying that you know the the stuff that they're talking about Russia. Is is just another smokescreen to uh, to try to get at Trump, and he says that the things that they're saying you're Russia believing Steven Seagal. Patrick, hand up. Listen, yeah, well, yeah, uh, yes, Patrick, and I like his movies too. You know, if if all of this was was proven true, and if there was enough there. Wouldn't it be enough to start impeachment process? I mean, I, I don't see any of this as legitimate because if it was, this, this shit would be rolling already. And it's I don't not see, rolling because Republicans are in control until now. Yeah, but even... Still in even, control. If it was legit, the Democrats... Only half in control. And everybody would see it was legit. And even now... Like I said, they can do all they want. The, the woman that was jumping up and down, they were, now we're going to impeach him. She can do all the jumping and whooping and hollering that she wants. They can impeach him, and it's not going to matter. Patrick, we here are as guilty as every pundit on CNN, MSNBC, Fox, you name it. We're all talking pie in the sky. We don't really know what's happening. Nobody will know until Mueller releases, releases the report, the report. okay? Yeah. So, we, we and, and we heard tonight, I, I heard tonight anyway, that he has asked for the federal grand jury to extend the grand jury. There are reasons why he's doing what he's doing. And what? everybody, Republicans especially, sung this guy's praises, and still people say this guy is as thorough and as straight and by the book as you can be. So until he releases his thing, all we're doing is right. right. just that's postulating. That, that's my point, Rob, is it was, when Charlie said it's all been proven, <clears throat> we don't know it's been proven. No, because nothing's been proven. Out from, from the report, you can believe what you want, Charlie. I can believe what I want. I don't even like Trump. But the point is, until it comes out in a report... Right. 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 Now, let me ask well, you this, though, Patrick. Let me Trump ask. Trump would be doing his damnedest to be disproving it. Let me ask you this, Patrick, and then we'll get to Jeff. Something you didn't uh, do. Patrick, let me ask you okay. this. If the Mueller uh, report uh, comes out, whatever it says, are you ready to believe it? Well, I, well you know that. Oh, okay. How about you, Pat, F Phil? I supported Trump. Are you ready to the believe Mueller it? report? Yeah. Uh, yeah, probably. Okay, probably. Yeah. Uh, I bet you'll yeah, change your and, tune. And the reason why is that when he was in San Francisco, uh, he was... Um, uh, he bought some with carpet. The, no, no, no. He was with the attorney's office. I, I knew a guy that worked for him uh, in, in, that, uh, in that capacity. Uh, I forgot what... It's 25, 30 yeah, years. It, yeah, okay. But uh, anyway, this guy he I knew donated money to the police no, fraternal uh, order of police. No, he said that this uh, that Mueller was a very straight up guy. Yeah, that, uh, you know, uh, Jeff, you, you've been trying to say something for a while. Yeah, so 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 you just said that the guy has a good character, right? Yeah. Okay, and 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 obviously he's working his job. Okay, uh, he's not falling asleep. He's actually working pretty hard, and he'll come up with a, whatever the answer is, and we'll. Take a look for it. But at the same time, we have a president who's a big liar. Who can't... He Not lying to me. The, Every, everything everything he said on. he was going to do, he's doing. Hold and on, I hold like on, it. hold on, hold on. Well, Go ahead. He, he, is, he often changes the truth. He also is a lousy manager. He's gone through hundreds of people who were theoretically good people. Terrific people, 
and they, nobody can seem to work for this. Person. And when he tries and to find all these acting guys who have not been vetted by the Senate, and that's another issue. He's got all these people sitting around the table with him who have not been vetted by anybody by his they've Senate. Been, wait a minute, Rob. According to you, they've been vetted by the Kremlin. Well, that could be, <laughs> but he's not been. They've not been vetted by the Senate, and that's an issue. You got people and, and serving he's not in rushing. posts yeah. who don't belong. And he's not I rushing to replace those people or, or no. to fill those slots permanently either. You know, he's got basically he, he doesn't keep them there. How long? Basically, he doesn't have long. basically he doesn't have an administration, uh, right. a working okay. administration. Yeah, it's the obstructionist Democrats that aren't approving 300, 350 of, of his appointees. You're wrong. No. You are 100 percent wrong. All of these people he's put How in. How many active, judges that they blocked for Obama? No, so that didn't that didn't even have any difference. And, and, then, and all of these people are we not being set people. up to the Senate. No, all these there's acting UN, people. there's ambassadors, there's I'm not there's talking about them. I'm talking about his cabinet. But what about his cabinet? He's got acting this and acting this and acting this. Does None the of these man people have, have a right to have a cabinet appointee that agrees and he follows does. his direction? And he's, and he, but he can't and find his, one. And his agenda. He well, can't find one. That's because originally he looked to the other side of the aisle to get a, a correspond, you know, information. No, no, no. no. And, Maybe it's and, because he's got a, a a problem. Maybe because he's got a a mental problem. He's got a he, he. The guy is a problem. There's no question that he's so he's not easy to work with. He's no, impossible he's not. to work so with. So why has Kellyanne Conway been there? That's a why? really good question. Knowing her husband. Yeah. Well, how could he keep someone like that? Or uh, isn't she know, gone? No, no, she's, she's not gone. I don't understand how she, why she stays around. She's got to be just like him, but yet she's married to a guy who constantly is on Trump. Right. It and, must be interesting see, at home and, for them. Right. Do you see? Well, do you see Trump firing her because of her husband? No. You know. Uh, and and a lot so of the Mattis, people, that, he he gets rid of Mattis. He gets rid of all of these people that are so well respected. He had look. You, you got Truman who got rid of uh, uh, MacArthur because MacArthur didn't. Uh, Truman didn't want to go into. Uh, I'll give you one. I'll give you two. Yeah. But how many are there? The Mattis situation is, become... is entirely different to begin with. Uh, McCarthy. Was wait a minute. MacArthur was a a, a military man. And he had the right to do exactly what he did since he's the commander in chief. In this particular case, this is a man he hired and, and, and because of his sterling reputation. And it was probably one of the best uh, uh, appointments he made of his administration. And he didn't fire Mattis. Mattis quit Mattis on quit. it. Well, I mean, right, you know, because Mattis you know, didn't agree. Mattis didn't agree with what he did. It's not a dictatorship. The United States government is not a dictatorship. But the buck stops. No, Trump. you know what you've got? You've oh, got let, let me say He's this, Phil. Reflecting. You've got in Who, Trump an absolute shutdown. an absolute child. <laughs> it's somebody else's fault. You've got an absolute child who, when he became president, believed that, oh, I'm president. Now I can do anything. I can just wave my hand and pass any law I want to pass, and I can do anything I want to do. And because I'm yeah. president, I can get away with it. And that's how he's been running his presidency. It's utter chaos. Phil, the well, whole world is wrong, but he's he right. still thinks the attorney general is his attorney general, not yeah. the people. Yeah. He doesn't well, even know how the know, government works. Now, nah, you know, your, your guys are trying to come at me from all sides, but the bottom line is he's getting done what he promised to do. No, he's you not. Guys don't no, like he's it. not. He's doing everything. No, he's not. He hasn't. He's going to build the wall. He, no, he's he's going to build the wall, and Mexico he's has. He's going to build the wall. But he's coming to us for the <laughs> money. Huh? Oh. And who's going to pay for the wall? How many times did he oh. say that? That's the a Mexicans. Pro but we, hey, you know, we're the bank. He's going to pay for them because, or they're going to pay for it because I'm going to spank them. Yeah, and if he's, I if if I win for president, I'm going to lock Hillary up. He's a con man. Yeah, no, he said originally he wasn't going to lock Hillary up. And, uh, you know, he, now, uh, took office. but, you know, you guys, you know, you don't like it today in the in the Congo. And uh, I think the Belgian Congo, they're, they're killing each other. 
uh, that is a corrupt government. You want to look at a corrupt government? You look at the Belgian Congo. Hey, listen, I don't live in the Belgian. Hey, hey, hey the I don't world. live in the fucking Belgian Congo. I live here, and I'm looking at my corrupt government. Yeah, well, I, I don't think our government is corrupt except for the Democrats that are obstructing Trump campaigned the campaign on going after Wall Street and the banks, and he did the exact Phil, opposite. Phil, Phil, what you call obstruction, yeah. what you call obstruction is the political uh, ebb and flow in this country. That, yes, the other party is always on certain levels going to be an obstructionist because their job is to get their point across and to try and keep you from getting yours across. So there's nothing wrong with them trying to obstruct Trump. And I think, quite frankly, if somebody had a bullet, they should shoot him in the foot to slow him down. And you really think we should <laughs> shut down our government over a, a border wall? Yeah, absolutely. Wow. You have oh, no... Shit. How yeah, well, you, uh, uh, good, safe. Phil, He's good, Phil, and and tell tell that the to the kids who didn't have a Christmas work. this year because their parents I mean, didn't have money coming in. You have no empathy for for common workers, which of course he said he was for the working man. No, I have empathy, but I don't have no, sympathy. No, 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 no. Well, you, the empathy and sympathy are the same thing, Phil. No, they are not the same thing. If sympathy is when you're part of the problem, empathy is when you understand. No, the problem, sympathy is when you, you sympathize it. with somebody's plight. That's Patrick, but. Yes, Phil. Phil. No, no. It, it's I'm like sorry. when you're a cop. Yeah. Phil. If, if Patrick you get when you're a cop, up. when you're a cop, you're an enemy of the people. Look, yes, look uh, Patrick. Sympathy and empathy. Patrick. Um, one of the points that was made on conservative talk radio here in Milwaukee this morning, mm -hmm. talking about the shutdown, was what is an acceptable amount of time for a worker who has a family to be without a paycheck. What is that threshold that... Well, so I... far, it's four days. Hey, he's still talking, Phil. But the thing is, Phil, it's people have mortgages. People... Have... Phil. Wait a minute, Phil. Just hang on. Remember, you and I are on the same side, yeah. but just see things a little differently. So just chill. Chill out and let me chill, chill. Phil. All okay, right. you do know that they got their last paycheck. But, right, but they have car payment, they have house payment. These are things that come up. And the thing is, not everybody prepares for that rainy day because not everybody makes enough money. Or, as you've admitted, or any number of us, we spent money beyond our mm -hmm. means. At point and then you're kicking yourself going well what the fuck well these same people are not necessarily the higher up they're just the bottom rung workers or regular workers and there is a point at which you've got to say enough is enough people need that money because if they start uh, defaulting on their mortgages who paid for that yeah on their car hey. Six, uh, Obama's Obama's closure was 16 days. It's only been approximately four okay. days. 13 so, days. 16. Uh, it's only no. been approximately... 13 days the clock has been running. It, it, the no, government no, shut down. Right the now, Obama's, yes. Obama's uh, closure of the government during was Obama's 16 term. days. Uh, right, during Obama's well, term. And, and well, let, me, let me just say that... Uh, it's only been a couple of days since they haven't gotten their paycheck. Phil, they Phil, 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 Phil. This year. is a guy who today, when somebody said, what about those people who aren't going to be able to pay their rent? He says, oh, well, those landlords will see them through this. Yeah, well, right. yeah. you go wait, and ask wait, some wait. of the people who lived in Trump properties whether wait, they wait, saw wait, them wait, through not Marie paying. What did Marie Antoinette say? What? Give them all their head. Head. cake. Off no, the let them eat cake. No. Yeah, well, the the fact is that the, the Trumps were very famous for evicting people fast. Okay, so yeah. fuck him. You know what him. he said today I, yeah. I, in the Rose Garden? He said, oh, I know that uh, all these people who were affected by this, they would say, Trump, you're doing the right thing. I know that uh, yeah. it's more, yeah. it's bigger than my oh, Also, hand. also, sure. did you hear his other remark? The, the remark that most of the people, yeah, that most of, most of the people that are not getting a paycheck are Democrats. Did you hear that one? Yes. Uh, no, first of all, let's good. go to Jason, and then let's go to uh, to uh, uh, our host of our uh, of our other just, show, just Jack one thing, Bishop. Alex, wait a minute. Uh, wait a minute. No, no, Phil, no, shut up. Shut up, and let these people talk. Let these let these people talk. Okay. So, 
you're saying that they got their last paycheck. Yes, they got their last paycheck, and that's the whole point of living paycheck to paycheck. They might not get their paycheck today that is supposed to be due every two weeks. They got their last paycheck from before the government was shut down. But my main point is, you know, I think there maybe should be a constitutional amendment. I don't care who's in charge. If the government shut down for more than a month, all the motherfuckers who were voted in should be fired and start over regroup new government good idea uh, uh, Jack? Good idea, but congress would, shouldn't be getting paid either right right that Jack. would be a, a constitutional amendment if they shut down the fucking government they don't get their checks because they I could like still it. do a two-thirds like majority it. right to override his veto and open up yeah. the government yeah yeah no, uh, no, uh, no, uh, the uh, Senate. jack has been wanting to say something here folks Yes, one Jack. of the things that's not being talked about outside of the people that work for the federal government. There are contractors who yeah. depend upon the money that's not being paid to them to pay their employees. And here's the thing. The government workers will eventually not only be paid, but the money that they weren't paid, they will be compensated for. Hey, Those do you get your cabinet the- paycheck? Do they... Do the uh, do the people who are on uh, retirement get their retirement checks during oh, this? Yeah. Government? Yes. Oh, they do. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Here's 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 the thing that's not talked about. This shutdown, as all shutdowns, only affects the departments and services and programs that are budgeted on an annual basis. Ongoing things, like Medicare, like Social Security, they are going to be covered. But think about this. You got a lot of folks that work for the federal government secondhand. How about, about how, about, how about the people though that uh, that send out the Medicare checks? You mean uh, uh, there's 830,000 uh, furloughed and furloughed employees. Yeah. You I mean, mean folks that work for the Social Security uh, uh, administration, well, Alex? Yeah. yeah. I think they're still working too because yeah, the checks they, they go are, out. Okay. Yeah, they're still working because their budget is uh, is uh, <clears throat> guaranteed as an ongoing federal expense, but but programs that have to be budgeted uh, by uh, by the year. I see. Yeah. Okay. By the year. Th- those are the guys that are getting hurt. But but set those aside because they're going to get their money. It's the guy that's working for a, a defense contractor. Yeah. Yeah. He's not going to get his money. Yeah. Are you happy? You know, living here, you know, living here in D.C., I, I don't feel as bad for some of those people. And the reason is because what I've learned in the D.C. area here is that so many of them are retired federal people who retired like at 40 and went back and double and triple dip, triple yeah. dip into yeah, the but government. You're talking about folks who are a little farther up the feet and chain. Maybe, maybe. And the guy that's working at, say, uh, let me think of a company here. Um, there's a... There's an airplane manufacturing plant here in the Dallas-Fort Worth area. Cessna? I said airplane. I didn't say puddle jumper. Uh, uh, <laughs> Lear? <laughs> Where is I think I thought they were down there. Uh, no, Lear is not here, and neither is Cessna. Cessna, Cessna is in, um, uh, I want to say, Missouri. Lear is in Michigan, uh, I think. Yeah. So anyway, the bottom line is, we build stuff right here in my area for the federal government. And those folks are not going to be compensated for the time that they're being forced out of work. You know, it's it's, it's rather interesting that a lot of these companies <coughs> are sending out uh, things to tell their folks how to get governmental subsidies to pay for what they aren't being paid. Guess what? When when it's raining and no customers are coming in, I don't make any. We money don't either. give a shit about rugs. Yeah. What does it have to do with the size of the, with any of this? You're an entrepreneur. Well, and so are those people. No, they're yeah. not. No, they're yeah, not. Those those contractors are entrepreneurs. Yeah, but what about the contractors? May be entrepreneurs, but the people who work for them aren't. Well, and the uh, workers and, did and not. Do you think? Do you think that company is not going to pay their salaries because they're not getting paid by the it government? It could well be. They, they, they don't have banks and lines of credit to, to, to pay these Maybe things? not. Well, well no. You don't know that. You don't know that. You don't know that, Phil. Okay. You're making assumptions. We would hope so, but I know you entrepreneurs because I've worked for several of you bastards. <laughs> and if you can figure, you know, figure out a way to uh, 
the smartest man I ever met, who was a guy that was a janitor, said there's one thing that rich people can always agree on, and that's how to screw a working man out of another dollar. Yeah. That's the I, I, I don't think that's the way it works. Not well, if you want to then, keep you. Then, 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 when was the last time you worked for somebody other than Phil Meyer? Nobody hired me. <laughs> you know, well, I can understand that. But when was the last time that you worked for somebody other than Phil Meyer? When was the last time you had to go to somebody and say, "Gee, I'm not uh, making it. I need a raise." Well, I've always been in sales, so if I needed a raise, I just had to sell more. I work for the people every day. You work, we're you know, not talking if, if about wanted, that, Phil. We're, if I ta- we're to talking money, about how to sell more. No, things. you know, I mean, you could ask the same question of Donald Trump. When's the last time he was employed by somebody? Actually, being president is the first time he has been employed by somebody. That's right. That's and true. he's not taking That's the so money. True. And he's not taking it well. You know, Phil, no, <laughs> he doesn't take any money. It took me 40 Yes, he does. He takes a dollar. From the Russians. To get to a position in broadcasting where I could raise my own salary. And you know what I had to do to keep that company afloat? I had to lower my salary. Because the guy that was the entrepreneur said, Hey, Jack, I can't afford any more money in this because this is interfering with us building the lake house. Well, mm-hmm. Hey, that's See, the way it works. Sometimes I don't get to take a salary. Oh, that's you know? or, you, or I write myself a check and I can't cash it. But you chose that. You chose that lifestyle. You chose that option. A lot I of could not be an, I couldn't be an entrepreneur. Yeah. I just couldn't. I don't have that in me. I told God I need I to work for I, somebody. I, I told God take the stress. I was too. complaining about if, my about my credit card statement the other day, and 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 I said, well, I guess I just gotta make some more money. I guess I'll have to become an entrepreneur. Give me a squeeze bottle and some paper towels at a good street corner. Yeah. yeah. See you at the top of the hour. Yeah. Well, be a little more environmentally friendly and and get a squeegee. And a sham wows. Just for sham wows. A sham wows. I'll get a squeegee, but I expect a better tip than you gave us the last time. <laughs> Not a problem. <laughs> he'll he'll mail. give you a tip, he'll give you the whole thing. <laughs> yeah. It's in the mail. Oh, boy. Well, you know, uh, this is, uh, this. it's a mess right now. Uh, yes, uh, Jeff. Well, I, I think what Phil's saying about, you know, being an entrepreneur is a lot different. Uh, and, 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 you know, in a certain way, when you take a government job, whether you're a contractor or or not, uh, you, you're expecting a certain amount of uh, guaranteed. Mm-hmm. That's exactly right. Getting Security. Money. My mother worked for the federal government her whole life, and she preached to me, get a job with the federal government. You'll always have a job. You'll always earn a salary. Yeah. And you'll have, have great benefits, retirement. and you'll have retirement. And I didn't do that because I wanted more than what the federal government was going to give me. Now, when I look back on it, I think, gee, the pension would have been nice. The benefits yeah. would have been nice. It all, but it also he depends. should have saved for rainy but, day. But you see what he's doing to these people who think that way, right? Right? He, this, well, these people went to work knowing that they had this, right? And, and he's fucking with that. And has no... No, no, no. the Democrats are fucking that, with it. No, yeah, he that's said that's it straight up. He, I am proud, proud to shut down the government. Right. Yeah. 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 So he's taking he responsibility a for it, Phil. government open and he refused to sign it. He no, he didn't wall. refuse to sign it. He said he would sign it until Sean Hannity or uh, and, the other, the, the other one name? said, Maybe yeah, you know. Laura Ingram, whomever said, well, he's giving in. He changes to. Hey, well, listen, on, an, on a, on a really it. sad note, I, I heard today that Brian Dunkelman, you remember Brian Dunkelman? He was the co-host of American Idol when it first went on the air with Ryan Seacrest, and he left after the first year, is driving an Uber. So anyway, yeah, I just uh, wow. thought I'd mention well, that to close off the show. No wall, hey, listen, no I'll... So could all of those other okay, people in listen, listen. Okay, wall. all right, enough is enough. Uh, uh, cool it. Uh, anyway, uh, we'll uh, we'll be back again, uh, what, on uh, on Tuesday, unless I get a bad report from my... Uh, from the uh, from the lab, get, in which case I won't be ship. here. I'll be depressed, too depressed to do a show. But anyway, uh, thank you to th- thank you very much to Charlie for being here. And oh my, every day this week, Charlie, God, this is wonderful. I love having you here. Phil Meyer, thank you, thank you, Jason. Always a pleasure when the old lady lets you get out. 
Uh, Jeff Stein, thank you. Rob Alfano, wonderful. And Patrick, of course, what can I say? Where's Kevin this week? I'm a little worried about him, and we haven't heard from um, our friend in Hawaii uh, in a couple of weeks. So I don't know. Where is everybody? Uh, hopefully they'll be fine. What, you, what are you saying? What? I thought Kevin was going to have that thing implanted permanently right now. Uh, might so. be. That might be what's going on. I don't know. But anyway, everybody, uh, you know, a good wave goodbye would be nice from all of you, okay? And I'll wave back, and they'll all wave back, and we'll all wave. Let me hang up here so that uh, the Jack Bishop can use uh, the phone next on the, uh, the phone, the Skype line next uh, on GabNet. Uh, he comes up next with the intersection. Uh, I will uh, be back here again on uh, Tuesday night if all things go okay. Uh, in the meantime, uh, that's be right after, um, uh, uh, what's his name, uh, Damian Chaplin does the exchange at 10 o'clock. Same time, same station in life. In the meantime, as always, I, I tell you and I'll say it over and over again. If you see her, tell her I love her, okay? Bye-bye, everybody. Have a nice weekend.